Joey Styles. The results of very tough competitive fights against the likes of Jesus Soto Caras, Arturo Gatti, Jose Luis Castillo. And arm length advantage of a half inch measured from the armpit to the end of the fist for Alfonso Gomez. They both weighed in significantly. On arenas in the United States in the comes to boxing. Absolutely right. Now here's Alfonso Gomez. 0-1 in title fights, I mentioned his loss. Predictably, Gomez said, I'm more experienced. I have a vast storehouse of knowledge that he yet to career of Arturo Gatti uh, took a bad beating. All he can do is try to come in and try to take Canelo into some deep rounds and try to wear him out. Is 21. <laughs> Canelo, uh, <laughs> or maybe they're just like redheads. A standout attraction in Mexico. In terms of boxing, Los Angeles is northern Mexico. Oh, look at the big smile. That's totally at odds with the monastic says nonsense. It came from Guadalajara. It goes back with me. Tale of the tape. Canelo Alvarez. Alfonso. Good evening, gentlemen, for the WBC Championship. We're good here. We got your instructions in the dressing room. Touch them up and come out the bell. You have the taste of defeat. You're going to taste it. He's a devoted body puncher. And unlike some fighters, Emmanuel, he will throw in combination to the body. I mean, I look at his boxing techniques, his jab. He's, his, sometimes I think he holds his hands a little too wide where you can catch it between the gloves. But other than that, fighter. And when you look at that body, I think they've made a very intelligent decision as a being a middleweight. Canelo. Canelo. Incidentally, the word means cinnamon. Gomez looks like he has a real plan. We'll see whether it works. Right, often, evidently wasn't big purses. And also, yeah, uh, he controls it. the distance. And he does a variety of things. He'll step back on a punch. Him. But one of the flaws some people see in him is that he really doesn't use the jab. Emmanuel, the answer is 38 fights already. 37, 0, oh, and 1 at That's age 20. Fighters. Not at all unusual for Mexican fighters to turn professional. Canelo starts to get the jab going. And down goes Alfonso Gomez on a left hook. Short. Quick, short left hook. Great punch. So much of the plans of mice and men. Use your jab. Use your jab. You step back, jab. Don't Here you see a very accurate punch coming from Canelo. Just, just accuracy and balance, and his, his head will be when he's throwing a punch. Exactly. Gomez walked right into that punch. Gomez didn't do anything wrong. Gomez brought in a plan, but now he's down two points. In his corner, saying, "Be patient, stick with it. Nothing happened. That sounded to me like don't abandon the plan." For the son of a punch. That's what happened to Roy Jones the night that Antonio Tarver knocked the him punch off. that Tarver knocked. He started off with a loop in left hand, and Roy put his hand to block it in some kind of way. Perfect. Yeah, but again, Gomez seems to be winning the first half of the round. Good jab. Then does Alvarez. There's one of those. Again. With a good body punch, is going to end up going right on the top of the club. You think that was deliberate? Because because it should have been pointed out to the referee. Fake him straight shots. And if he comes in, just give your guard up. As his punches were wandering to the outside, down at the end of round one. Yeah, it, it was almost a freak knockdown, a legitimate, real one. Thinking of the grinning and the smiling and the slapping hands with fans as he came into the ring, I wonder if he has a cold focus tonight. Now, an undersized fighter who's like Jose Cotto, a natural 140-pounder, who was fighting Alvarez. This is a guy whose fights are going to be rough. Yes, but right now he's got a lot of good defensive skills, but I'm surprised that Gobi is at this stage. I'll be honest, he's fighting a much better fight than I. And I think right now, by the timing, and the activity of a hand by Gomez. One thing is volume of punches is too low. 
meaning uh, uh, Alvarez. Okay. He likes Cortez as a referee and is surely pleased with his assignment. Harold, how do you have it so far? He did get knocked down, but he did get knocked down, so Canelo gets a 10-8 round. Rounds two and three, uh, Canelo operates yeah, really well to the body. Larry, to answer your question about the cup, the inspector in the dressing room is supposed to make sure that the fight is cup, the top of the cup is so he even uppercuts in this round. Looks as though he's decided that he can get up the middle by coming up and under against Gomez. him to sustain a good combination of punches. But on the other side. More active fighter. Gomez throwing more punches. Gomez, Gomez landing at a reasonable enough rate. Alvarez clearly believes he's the stronger fighter as he stands against the ropes and invites him. It's less likely he can get that done. But Gomez is still not a puncher, so I mean, I think he's feels very comfortable in this fight. I'm sure he's not worried at all about Gomez's punching power. The question is, why isn't Alvarez throwing? Uh, now he begins to let his hands go a little bit. If he doesn't think there's he's a good a, uppercut. He's at least going he's, on, and he has a sense of urgency right now that shows that he's throwing with abandon when he lets that uppercut go, particularly. But some of these are wide shots, winging punches, and Gomez is starting the fight they might have hoped for. And you can see that despite the Alvarez ended the first round by knocking Gomez down, Harold Letterman's gun following Canelo Alvarez that we've ever seen him lose three rounds in a row on any scorecard. Totally well, abandoned his jab. Meanwhile, Gomez has put together the best and most comprehensive plan I've ever seen from him. He's landed some clean right hands. Crowd trying to lift Canelo back in the forefront of the fight. Gomez still putting. That's when he's really rushing and rushing. Which he is. Crazy he is. <laughs> Alvarez has been very sporadic with his jab. That's what I'm going to say, Jim. That's the first time I've saw a jab in about three rounds. If he would jab more than time, he's having a tough fight with Gomez. Gomez may be winning this fight. Now Alvarez begins to come up in the belt. Reminiscent of round one as Canelo. That could be landed hard. more hard punches. How are you feeling? Use your jab. You catch him here. Throw the jab. Throw the jab. Throw the jab. Jab. Gomez in the white. This is the last preliminary bout before our main event of this pay per view. Tell a little bit as he lands his jab. Alvarez falls short with his twice in a row. Another short jab for Alvarez, but now he connects. Gomez fighting a gutsy, smart fight. Yes, I'm very surprised the fact that he is really, for the most part, setting the <laughs> Good right hand, a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish, and the referee's going to stop it right away. Too quick the stoppage, but that was too quick. Agreed. Hometown guy, even if he's not from that hometown. In boxing, the hometown. Myself, I mean, I could go on and on, but I think you said it already, Larry. It was it was a quick stoppage, but it's... All right, watch the uppercut land here. That starts the damage. Then the right cross. Boom. Canelo has a chance, but he hasn't quite finished him yet, in our view, at the moment when the referee steps in here. He's hurt, but he, he deserves, given what's happened in this fight, a chance. He was flat out even on Harold Letterman's scorecard coming to this round. He won three rounds in a row. Weather this particular storm. Alvarez did land some shots. But he didn't land nothing too much clean that devastating you know, after that Gomez first two or three punches. Yeah, he was recovering. No, I, I thought know, they were. If it went on, you have to believe he would have. I believe it.